I get excited about stuffed animals from the 80s and he finds a box of sterling. There you go. Uh. It is storage unit clean out day. My friend that does house clean outs also does storage clean outs and he asked if I wanted to come help film and see what treasures are in this unit that he got and I said, well, yes, of course and I'm bringing you all along with me. There is a chance there might be some military in this unit. There might be. Let's hope. Mine away? No, you're fine. Wow, there's a lot in here. I know. Well, so the other That's one, really stuff. The other one we finished already. It was just junk, all garbage, you know? That's what I said, and I, and I felt bad because I've been jerking around, not getting this thing done. What, is that like a, 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 like a oven thinger? A hot dog roller or something? I don't know what it is. You got that cute carnival dog. Yeah. Wow. Oh, there's like a, um, it looks like there's an entertainment center or some kind of shelf. Yeah, that's right. Well, I told him we're going to have more junk to throw Filing away. Filing cabinet. Yeah. That that's probably it. has all the millets. Oh, there's another, the other half. Speakers. Huh. So what will my friend do with the stuff from this unit? Flea market and eBay it. If there's anything that I really, really like, then he usually lets me have it um, as compensation for helping him out. But for me, it's more about the fun of looking in the units and being able to bring the camera with me and show you all. Now for this unit, it was lack of payment. Um, the storage center waited a long time um, to receive payment and the person never paid. They hadn't paid for quite a while, so when that happens it goes up and then my friend uh, got it and so now he has to clean out everything <laughs> you can't leave stuff behind you can't leave the mattresses you can't leave the particle board furniture you got to take it all so if you are in the auction buying business storage auction buying business you need to make sure that you have the the means to clear everything out now he's taken a look in a few boxes I know he said this had some military stuff, World War II military. So whether or not we're going to find more World War II military, I'm not sure. But <sighs> this is stacked. Like they must have had a ladder to put that. So how are we gonna get that down? <laughs> He's gonna have to bring a ladder. There's no way. Oh, that carnival dog is gonna take every ounce of me to not bring that home. Um, I can't really stand on top of anything quite yet. We have some boots, home from the war, survivors. So it looks like a lot of military um, themed books over there. I saw one tote that had like vintage cards. Uh, oh, there's some eight tracks over there. You can see we have some more books. I'm guessing there's probably a stereo system somewhere in here because of the speakers. Um, oh, stuffed animals, exercise ball. So yeah, this is going to take him quite a while. So he'll, we'll clean, we'll sort, move stuff out, and then he'll pack for the flea market and then come back and do it again. This is crooked, but we're gonna work with it. So the first box of many. Yeah, some of it, I mean, this looks like it's paperwork. Smart. <clears throat> Smart braces for men. We have some cards. Do you have, are you making, um, we were doing all that, um, what do you want to make a box for like Are you making that and then just uh, bags for trash? I, I, I think it'd be a good idea, but I agree. I'm coming to Because this looks Tuesday. like it might be trash. Yeah, I think Virginia's it might be. Yes. Oh, we have some fun glasses. Look at those. I saw like military style glasses. These are, put, save these for the flea market. Someone might buy them. You never know. Wow, we have um, a little box. Ah, I peeked already. <laughs> But it is. This is a 14 karat gold ring. It's marked inside. So, what's this worth? Thousands? 
Hey. Can't beat gold. Microsoft. Yeah, this box had just a conglomerate. Oh, there's some keys. Conglomeration of, oh, this is a Plymouth. There's a Plymouth key on there. That's fun. Just a conglomeration of like some trash. Oh, we have a nice pocket knife. Made in Pakistan. A fake nail. And what is that? A dog? Huh. I don't know, but 14 karat gold ring. Score. So this roller skate case does not contain roller skates, but it actually contains military. Uh, this is what uh, Tony had already looked through, so he said, look, look. So let's see, oh, pictures. Did you look in the albums? That's like high school. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, wow. That's from Munich. Oops. Well, it's empty. Dear sweetheart, I love you. I love you very much and very dearly with all my heart. Forever and ever and ever, I love you. Love me. Love your love. <laughs> love your love. Oh, look how nice. Montmartre. Oh, I was there at Montmartre. That's in France. It's all artists. Huh. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Oh, these are the military papers. Huh. Date of entry into service, August 10th, 44. And he was out in 46. Basic infantry heavy machine gunner. bag bag of clothes so we've been finding a mixture of stuff there's like stuff from the 80s stuff from the 60s it's a whole conglomeration of things i personally hope this bag is filled with 80s clothing <laughs> but who knows rock t-shirts well, i see things that might be shirts why do they make these so hard to open underwear What's this? Hershey? Oh, that's cool. It's a Hershey Park shirt. Oh, I like that. Ugh, stain. Here, but I'll fix that. <laughs> looks like... <laughs> looks like doo-doo on the front. Yeah. Oh, I have that. Hey, that's the start. Now, do you have a bag undies? A bag for... Ooh, what's this shirt? Ooh, you might have some good stuff in here. If you think being a U.S. Marine is tough, is tough, try being a Marine's wife. That one's for the flea market. What's this one? Oh, oh wow. <gasps> this is wonderful. The land that God forgot, Vietnam. Wow. I'm sure to go to heaven because I've been sent, I've spent my time in hell. 1986. Will it fit me? <laughs> That's great. That's really nice. Wow. This might be a good bag. Cool. What's this one? Oh, it's an man, they like Hershey Park. It's another Hershey one. Wow. That's really fun too. This is good. Mind your way? Nope. There's another Marine, 1988. Wow, that's a nice one. That's a single, di single dingle or single stitch. That's a great one. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, this is, oh, St. John's Bay. <laughs> I thought it was older. I might as well just lug all these out and then put them back in. Okay. Cause at this rate, you don't want to, oh, what's this one? Oh no, I don't know if I can say this. Oh, I can't, <laughs> I can't say this in here. It just starts off with, fishermen are better lovers, and then it lists why. <laughs> can't read that on here. 
This bag is wonderful. Yeah. His jeans. More pants. Oh, there's more shirts. Oh, what's this one? Oh my gosh. Oh, am I gonna want this? I don't know. Tell the world about us. <gasps> Americans for the return of servicemen from Vietnam. I need this. I would I would proudly wear this. That's really nice. I'm gonna keep this one too. This is well whomever this this person was, thank you for your service to this country and for your continued fight for um, all those that never made it back home. Oh. Isn't that weird? I'm, there's something I'm allergic to, I guess. Uh oh. You know? Ooh, what's this one? Look at this one. Oh, yeah. I like I'm this one too. Down. Yes. Tell the world about us. Americans for return of servicemen from Vietnam. Hmm. What's this one? Something. Oh wow, this one's older. U.S. Marine Corps. Uncle Sam's misguided children. Look how thin that guy is. Wow. Well, with all this military stuff, you're bound to run into a uniform, right? Right. <gasps> Would this be... Oh, it's the Marines. Right? That's Marines, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks a little newer. Yeah. But it looks like you definitely by that patch. You must have been. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm not good with all those ranks. No, neither am I. But it looks like quite a quite a higher rank, wouldn't you think? Let me get the rest of it. Sergeant area or something. Yeah, so we're covering all grounds here. We're covering World War II, Vietnam. Now that oh, what got in here? Why oh why? Ooh, what's this? Oh, this looks... Of course they ate through this one. This is like the Eisenhower style jacket. Yeah. What are the chances, right? This looks like a... Is this an older one? This or not? Color, yeah. Of course they eat through this one. creatures. Leave the military stuff alone. Someone might ugh. hope we don't find the remnants of the creature in there. Yeah, so we're spanning all war eras in, in this unit. So we came across a really neat box. Okay, start explaining. <laughs> Just a bunch of silver. So you think they say they were gonna scrap? Plate. Not silver plate, I would think. This one's this is a weighted sterling. This is my favorite. Some of the flatware could be. This is cute, That's I copper. think. Yeah, this is brass. Looks like just we're saving a bunch of stuff, stuff. That, that fit in that category, but some of these could be I really like that. Sterling. Yeah, it's a really pretty pattern, isn't it? Yeah. This is Yes, yeah, this, this one that one is a sterling handle, see it? Oh wow. So this anything in this, this pattern. This is marked Royal. So all, all this pattern is gonna be sterling handles. Possibly sterling. It actually wow. quite a bit of sterling in here. Wow. Though. Cause it looks like anything in that pattern is quite a bit of it. See it? Oh wow. So that's those are sterling. More than likely. This is nice. Roy yeah, Croft. Roy Roy Croft, yeah, that's, that's good. That's exactly what it is, yep. Yeah. We just talked about that, right? Yeah. In that book. Oh okay. Oh is yeah. It, is there a pair of them or just one? I just oh, is this yeah, no. sort, of, sort of watching crafts, yeah? Yeah. I wish it was a couple, though. Isn't that Looks shame? like it was, like, I mean, hammered sort of on the bottom. Little finger candle It's cute, holder. though. Once it is cute. It's nice it to see something from them. Again, it's sort of watch that Austin craft. Yeah, that's, I carry, like that, yeah. Know? That, and I like the little, that little cup thing. That is pretty cute. That it's really neat. Cute. Yeah. It's very dainty. Yeah. Wow, this is good. This is good. Box of yeah. Box. Someone was saving copper. And oh, is this shell? It looks like it, yeah. Huh. Very pretty. Wow. There's a lot of this one pattern. Yeah, this I, is... And I love the pattern. It's really nice. It is nice. Yeah, this really is such a random... Looking. It's very elegant looking. Random unit. It? What's that? A lot of this is probably going to be sterling. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I bet you it is. 
That one, yep. Jeez, what's the, what's wow, the rate of wow. sterling now? <laughs> wow. These are nice. That's marked too. There's a chance there could be a decent amount of money in this box. I would think so. This one may not be. Wow. It's really a cool fork. What are these, stirs? Yeah. That's marked too, I just can't see it. It, it looks like it might be. It is, there's it, a little mark, I just can't read it. This has their, their name on it, Grace. Very cool, I just love 1910. It. I love the pattern. I love yeah, the that's really nice. Even this one, look at that pattern. It's all Wallace. What a pretty Wallace pattern. Sterling, yeah. Yeah. It is. Wow. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> he edited himself on that one. <laughs> you normally always not say holy moly. Oh jeez. I get excited about stuffed animals from the 80s and he finds a box of Sterling. Hey, uh, uh, so we have some 80s. I knew there'd be 80s in here. We have My Little Pony, Viewmaster. I need these for my 80s party. The one thing that's weird about this unit is like there's a lot of mold, which I don't I don't know. These are the knockoff My Little Ponies. This I remember the safe bank. Missing the tail. That never happened to mine. But this box looks like we have the. Oh, we're getting into where like the rodents got in. It looks like more like school photos. What's this? It's a Wonderful Life, still sealed. Worth thousands, probably not. Paper, they save like every receipt too. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I need this for your birthday. It's a Smurf mug, perfect Smurf mug. So my luck continues. Now this bag is marked as winter clothes, but what do we see? A pound kitty. This is the pound purries. Not winter clothes. Not by a long shot. Oh my gosh, is this 80s heaven in here? Who are you? Oh my gosh, it's Mr. Smurf. It's Papa Smurf. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, Kermit. Oh, he's so nice. He's older. He's a Fisher Price one. Hi ho. <laughs> you can get a puppet show at the flea market. Cool, he's nice. He's Fisher Price. Cool. He's in good shape. Oh my gosh, this is like a bag of heaven. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, it's the uh, hug a bunch. I had this. This, this uh, pajama. You'd get a pajama that was your size and then you get one for your doll. Oh man, this is like my child in a bag. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's the Wuzzles. <laughs> oh, I don't have this one. <sighs> oh, Tony's like, what is this girl doing? Oh my gosh, it's the Wuzzles. This is the bear, uh, that's the, the, the bee. Oh, I forgot her name, I'm so bad. Oh my gosh. And the monkey, the rhinoceros monkey's in here too. This is a great day. Oh my goodness. Now, if the gummy bears are in here, I'm gonna flip out. These are so cute. I don't think I ever had the Wuzzles stuffed animals. What else is in this bag? We gotta look. All right, let's see about our stuffed animals we got. Oh, a pennant from where? Oh, it's from the circus. Cool. That's good. We did find some circus souvenir books. Oh my gosh, you have <gasps> these guys. I forget what they were called. Oh my gosh, nosy bears. Wow. Who's this? Oh, George. Ah, George. George has been eaten. I love you. Yeah, a purple, yes. It's a purple one. <laughs> 80s in a bag. Oh, here's a big uh, for uh, the pound purry. Oh, and the guy from Ziggy. They, they don't look as to be in bad shape though, are they? No, only George is, has some damage. This little guy. 
We have the sugar snap bear. I remember those. I can't believe the wuzzles were in here. <gasps> Sweet secrets? I forgot about these. I'm gonna have to look some of these up. Oh, there's more Smurfs. Oh, it's a Christmas Smurf. Oh, there's another nosy bear. This one has a snowman one. I remember them. It for this bag, but wow, that was a great bag. We need like 50 more of those. <laughs> that is quite the storage unit. And that was just my first day helping out. We haven't touched any of those totes along the back walls, any of the boxes, and boy, oh boy. So the big, the big ticket item, I think I just said, oh, there's some silverware. Well, yes, it was silverware and it's all silver. A small little container of um, Wallace Baroque, a uh, Grand Baroque um, Sterling silver silverware. Now, uh, comps, comps for that. There are some websites that list just one place setting for $1,200 on eBay. You know, uh, the napkin holders, uh, 200 bucks, $199.99. A spoon, $49.99. I mean, just amazing. And that was just sitting there in front of me while I am, you know, getting so excited about wuzzles, <laughs> stuffed animals. <laughs> Uh, so I, that that is a, you know a find of a lifetime and in a storage unit just sitting there just sitting there so my friend will do really well with those but uh, for me I, I like helping out with storage units because it is interesting to see what has been saved now there are many people that do not like storage unit videos and I can understand why you know there is the aspect of for whatever reason this unit um, was not able to be paid on but we don't know those reasons i've come across in instances where the people just don't want this stuff anymore they they stored it they have no need for it and they just stop paying or a person passes away the family is informed the family might come over and say no like uh, we're, we don't want this we're not moving it we don't want to pay for it do what you want with it and you have to realize that in the storage auction business, if there is no auction and if uh, you know no one buys a unit, then uh, the company is responsible for cleaning that unit out. And they wanna turn it around and be able to make money on the unit. So they're not going through stuff bit by bit by bit. Trash, trash trash nothing's donated you know usable clothing is not donated usable furniture is not donated it is trashed so being able to purchase these units is a way that items can be reused recycled donated we don't know the circumstances why the unit ended up how it did but i think we can try to make better on what can be done with the items in this unit and man <sighs> You have the, the, you know, the silverware. Then you have all the military. There's an array of military. We did find some World War II documents, Vietnam uh, documents, Vietnam uniforms, though the Eisenhower jacket that was most likely World War II, that was from, it had a ninth division patch on it. And of course that's a jacket that the mice eat through. Uh, and then the Vietnam shirts, which, I kept a few. I did keep the one that had the map um, and then the other one about, um, you know, remember them. As I said, if I included that in my video when I was filming, I have a, a big soft spot for you know, the POW MIA of Vietnam. I did some research on them for the New Jersey uh, Vietnam Veterans Memorial. I was able to find photographs and stories of the men that have not returned. And um, I think that we all still need to keep 
them in, in our thoughts because there are many that are still over there and there's still a lot of work being done to bring them home and bring their remains home so that their loved ones can finally have a, a resting place for, uh, for their soldier. So I'm going to be keeping a few of those shirts. They were great to find. There's a lot of great vintage shirts actually in, in this unit. Then the 80s toys, <sighs> the Wessels. Oh my gosh. I have the theme song in my head. Oh my goodness. The, the Pound Purries, the Smurfs. I mean, this is, this is the unit the unit and we still have a lot more to go through we can only hope though that those toads aren't filled with old receipts and paperwork because we've come across a lot of that a lot of um uh, checks bank books uh, receipts bills you know things like that so we'll see there's also a lot of books some of them not in the best condition. Some of them, you know, those good housekeeping or fix it yourself books are just not popular now. And so those can at least be recycled and uh, not end up in the trash. They can be recycled. So I'm beat. This was, this was a good unit. <laughs> Even, you know, minus the silverware. <laughs> Since I mean, that, that just blows, blows our mind. Like we, holy moly as Tony said, holy moly, who knows, who knows what else awaits us in this unit, but um, stay tuned to find out because I will be going back to help out and see what else we can find and do some more filming, perhaps get myself some more 80s plush or some more fun shirts and see what other treasures await in this unit. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do, the thumbs up. And just a, a thank you um, to those that served during Vietnam. I think it's only appropriate uh, to thank them, thank the veterans, and thank the family and the friends, um, especially for those that uh, have not returned. So thank you for your service. You are not forgotten. And yeah, I'm looking forward to going back. Who knows? Who knows what awaits, what can be saved, what can be salvaged, and what can be loved again. So stay tuned for the next one. I think it's going to be good. Mm -hmm.